Hi. Uh, for those of you who are Christian Prince fans, like me, I'm a Christian Prince fan. I've been a Christian Prince fan since uh, <clears throat> 2007. Uh, it was Christian Prince who uh, let me know about Takiyah. Thanks, Quran 328. Uh, he wasn't talking about Quran 1606, but he was talking about Quran 328, which uh, allows Muslims to lie. Actually, kind of forces Muslims to lie um, due to uh, the threat coming not from uh, the non-Muslim, but the threat coming from Allah. Should a Muslim really take me as his friend, unless he uh, just guards against me? In other words, doesn't. In other words, he just acts like my friend when he's not my friend, or he'll be cut off from Allah. So uh, he he let. Christian Prince, native Arabic speaker, let me know about that. And by the way, that was the first video that the Muslims pulled off <laughs> of YouTube that I'm aware of. But anyway, Christian Prince makes uh, videos that are really long. And I was thinking that if we could uh, uh, help him by um, watching his videos, uh, seeing the parts where he's really... Uh, exposing Islam, uh, the weaknesses of Islam, write down the number and then uh, maybe putting a camera on it and uh, fil filming it, then uploading it to YouTube and giving it a title. And that way you don't have to see your face and that way the Muslims don't have to see your face, see what you look like and uh, uh, you don't have to maybe change your name because uh, they won't, if, if you don't have, if they don't see your face and they don't see your name, then you won't get your head sawed off. You know what I mean? But uh, I, that since what I do is, since I'm not a Christian prince and my Arabic is, you know, it was really bad back then, uh, back in 2007 when I started watching him. Um, what I would do is I would sit through his videos, learn about Islam, and then I'd make a video of my own where I'd say, oh, Muslim, guess what I learned? Of course, I didn't let him know that it was Christian Prince. Uh, I should have. Sometimes I did, but uh, I'd say, oh, Muslim, guess what I learned? I learned, it'd be like, I learned, and now you can say Christian Prince, yeah, that the earth is spread out on the back of a giant fish, according to Muhammad. And that's the reason why the Quran says that mountains are placed down to keep down the earthquakes. That you find out, uh, thanks to Muhammad in uh, um, Al Tabari Tasfir, are caused by the agitation of the fish. And then you could say, you can make another video and say, uh, oh, Muslim, oh, guess, oh, Muslim, oh, slave of all, I guess what I learned today. I learned that, uh, uh, according to Christian Prince, who. Uh, Zakir Naik and all these other uh, Muslim apologists refuse to debate with. I learned uh, through Christian prints that uh, every time you see a meteor burning up in the Earth's atmosphere, well, according to the Quran, that's actually a star chasing away Satan uh, from heaven uh, to guard Allah, uh, according to the Quran. And you could also say, oh, Muslim, guess what I learned? I learned that from Christian Prince, that Allah is, according to Muhammad, Allah is short, hen-toed, uh, woolly-haired, and uh, he has two good eyes. And the reason why he says that, uh, and the reason why that's the description of Allah, is because Muhammad says no. Uh, uh, the difference, the difference between uh, the Antichrist, the Dajjal, and Allah is that Allah has two good eyes. In other words, Allah is short, hen-toed only haired and uh, and chubby yeah chubby too and which is of course the Dajjal also has uh, infidel written across his forehead and uh, I don't think uh, Allah has infidel written across its forehead you know what I mean I, by the way I call Allah it because to call Allah he would mean that uh, Allah is like me since I'm a male so but anyway these are the things I think we can do to help Christian Prince out by making videos that are short and to the point and uh, uh, they're like the highlights of what Christian Prince said. You know? I'm trying to give another example. Um, 
Uh, oh, you could say this. Um, oh, Muslim, guess what I learned? I learned that um, uh, the reason why Muslims wash their nose out three times in the morning is because Satan sleeps, according to Muhammad, Satan sleeps in the upper interior of your nose. But the thing I have a... The thing I'm wondering is, why wash your nose out if Satan doesn't interfere with your sense of smell or your breathing, you know? So, because I don't wash my nose out three times in the morning. And if Satan sleeping sleep in my nose at night, Satan does not interfere with my sense of smell or breathing. So, but anyway, these are some of the things I think we can use to help Christian Prince out. Bye.